everyone, it's Wendy Muller here. I'm wanting to just bring you some information today on the six, a six step process for making an empowering dream board. So a dream board is actually um, a visualization tool that you can use to build um, a collage of pictures and um, words that represent your goals and your dreams that you want to achieve. So step number one is to create a list of goals, of course, for this that you want to achieve. If you like, you can put a time frame on that, say for the next 12 months. Um, and then what you do is in order to visualize your goals, you first need to know, of course, what they are. So you need to spend some time uh, getting, you, getting clear on exactly what it is that you do want to achieve. And then what your ideal, make a story of what your ideal life would look like. Um, second, no, step number two is that you collect some old magazines that have beautiful pictures. So that might be some homestyle magazines, that might be travel magazines, that might be car magazines, basically anything that um, you'd like to add on to your dream board and anything that you'd want to include in, in your ideal life, whatever that, might, um, whatever that might look like for you. And of course, that's very different for everybody. So you need to choose things that actually resonate with you and, um, and yeah make you want to strive and work hard to achieve those goals. First, uh, no, step number three is that you then find pictures that represent the goals um, that, in, that inspire you. So you, um, what, what is good is that you schedule some time, maybe one evening, one weekend, where you go through the magazines and you really cut out the pictures that resonate and represent your goals and that they speak to you, that you look at them and you feel happy and you feel inspired. They're the sort of pictures that you wanna look for. So when you're looking in the magazines, you need to look at the pictures that immediately make you say, yes, yes, that is what I want in my life. Um, and then you, you gather all those pictures together and you focus actually on how the images make you feel. So the visual is important, but of course, what is actually more important is how those images are gonna make you feel when you see them on the board, because that's something that you're gonna be looking at very regularly to inspire you to achieve your, your dreams and your goals. Step number four is that you make a collage out of those photos. So what you do is you can get a big piece of cardboard or you can get a, a cork board. You can get whatever, um, whatever you'd like really um, that is you know, gonna be big that you can put somewhere. I actually use a book because I like to sit on, um, sit outside and just look through the, the, my dream book. But you know, a board is, a, is, is of course a wonderful way to go and um, everybody just does what suits them. So what you need to do is that you could use, like I said, a cork board or a large piece of paper and then you glue, you, you tack, you put those pictures on there any way that you can. And um, you make them so that they, they look attractive to you and they look appealing to you and um, they resonate with you and they, they, they bring you some happiness when you, when you look at them. So you, then, um, you also then could add in some motivational words that, um, that represent how you want to feel. So those can be things like, I want to feel joyful, strong, I want to feel healthy, financially free, abundant. So you can cut up those words from magazines if you find them, or of course you can just write them on yourself. Whatever those words are, that are the words that make you, how, how you want to feel when you look at your dream board and, and how you will feel once you achieve your goals, um, when, which of course you will. Um, and then you add them onto the board in a way that pleases you. So if um, you know you want to have it with lots of colour or you just want to have the words stuck on there with the pictures, you just do it however, um, however it looks nice uh, for you. And then number six is, of course, the, probably um, one of the most important steps is that you take a few moments to look at your vision board every day. So it, to get the full benefit of having a vision board, it's really important that you place it somewhere where you can see it every day, somewhere where you even walk past, or you could even have it next to your bed so that you see it last thing when you um, get up and last thing when you go to bed at night and first thing when you get up in the morning. So that's the best way to, um, to do it. But, um, you know, put it wherever um, you think you're going to see it the most. And you need to take a few minutes every day, um, morning and night is good, to look over your vision board. So um, yeah, if you do that at least once or twice a day, um, it, those, those images will be ingrained into your mind and, um, and they'll help you to work hard and continue to work hard to achieve your goals. Thank you so much for listening to me and um, I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day and a wonderful, wonderful um, long weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks again, bye.